Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is a sort of sequel to a video I did a little while ago that was all about protection for versus other options for your armour. This is basically the weapons equivalent. We're going to be testing sharpness 5 against the other more specialised types. Let's first of all talk about why this is something to consider. There are several different options in Minecraft for your weapons. There are two main kinds of weapon, that's your swords and your axes. Tridents I know that you have and you have bows and such like as well, but for this we're just gonna be looking at the swords and axes. And for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna be using axes. So you have the base damage, which for an axe is 10. Then we have sharpness five, which adds an additional amount on, which takes it to 13. Smite five, I'll show you a table because smite and bane of arthropods are more specialized and so they deal greater damage for specific kinds of mobs so let's have a look at that table now and you can see that for a netherite sword and a netherite axe there is a minimum damage and then the high damage on the right is if you do a critical hit usually with a jumping power attack so for the netherite axe you've got 15 as your max damage sharpness 5 takes that to 18 then with Smite 5, that actually deals out 27.5 damage to something that is affected by the Smite enchantment. And the same for Bane of Arthropods, 27.5. So there is a massive, massive jump there. The question is, is it worth picking one of those specialised enchantments over Sharpness 5? Now the first one that I want to look at is actually Sharpness 5 versus Bane of Arthropods. Now that might be a strange thing to start with, but you'll soon see why. There is there is a very specific reason why I want to start with this. There are only five mobs that are actually affected by Bane of Arthropods, and the toughest of these is the spider with 16 health points or 8 hearts. So to take you through just how effective these different enchantments are, I'm going to demo them one by one. So first of all, we will start with just no enchantments, a normal netherite axe. And I will be using jump hits, so I'm aiming for the critical damage here if possible. Here we are, normal netherite axe. Two hits. And being as the top amount should be 15 points of damage for a jump hit, that, that makes sense that it would need two. Moving on to sharpness five, if we were to now do a jump hit with sharpness five, the spider's dead straight away. And that is the toughest, that is the toughest mob that is affected by Bane of Arthropods. Is it even worth using a Bane of Arthropods weapon? From my point of view, unless you've got a grinder maybe and you want to use a sword with sweeping edge, I can't particularly see the point. It's one saving grace is that obviously with a Bane of Arthropods axe, it's only going to take one swing and you don't have to make it a power attack. So that's very convenient if you encounter the odd spider. Other than that, it's it seems pretty pointless, to be honest with you. Moving swiftly on, of course, it's time to take a look at the Smite enchantment. And for this, I'm going to be using a zombie. They have 20 points of health, or 10 hearts, and they also have two armor points. So we're going to see just how strong this is against, first, again, non-enchanted, then sharpness 5, and then Smite, which deals with things such as zombies, skeletons, and the like. So with a normal netherite axe, two hits, and it's gone. Moving on to sharpness 5 it still takes two hits to take down one of these things. However, if we are to use Smite, you don't even have to do a power attack. It's just the one. Now with Smite, there are actually 13 different mobs that are affected by this particular enchantment. And being as it's quite effective against them and you encounter them quite regularly, I would say this one's actually a good one to have. It's, again, it's not necessary if you've got Sharpness 5, but being as it's so much more useful than Bane of Arthropods, I would say that this is one that is possibly worth investing in. You know, maybe just as a, a specialised tool or weapon or something on the side. But I, I would say that Smite is definitely one to not rule out. Now, some of you are now perhaps wondering, well, if that's the case, I, the, most of the mobs that I'm going to end up trying to fight are going to be affected by Smite. So why not just get a Smite axe or a Smite sword? And there's nothing wrong with that. But there's a few things that you might want to consider. Here we have the wall of undesirables. This is like a mugshot board. And I'd just like to point out, this isn't obviously all of the mobs that aren't affected by either Smite or Bane of Arthropods. But it just goes to show that in certain situations, it's good to have an all-rounder. Now, Sharpness 5 obviously affects all of these because it affects everything. 
and there are actually 64 mobs 64 different spawn eggs in the inventory at the moment and we've got the caves and cliffs update coming so that's going to go up so just going down the line we've got illagers vindicators blazes ravagers piglins that one hasn't grown up yet in all fairness piglin brutes that one i'm particularly afraid of and possibly the worst of them all the wandering trader all of these are immune to the enchantments that we've already looked at i don't know about you but if sharpness 5 is the only thing that's going to take down a wandering trader i think that's back on the on the top of the pile for me i think it's worth mentioning as well just how much damage some of these mobs can take this guy 100 points of damage 100 points that's mental the piglin brute 50 and they pack a punch as do the hoglins they've only got 40 points of damage that they can take but again, these are all a lot stronger than your average mob that are affected by the other enchantments. Yet, we can't do as much damage to them. So, Sharpness 5, it might not be as effective as those other enchantments. But without it, you come up against one of these guys and your fight is going to be a lot harder. To demo this, we're once again going to jump back in this pit. And I'm going to see just how many power attacks it takes to take down one of these piglin brutes. I'm going to imagine it's going to be a fair few. So here we go. Normal netherite axe. It's going to take... One, two, three, whoa, four. It takes four of those to take one of these guys out. Getting four of those power attacks in in a survival situation, that's going to be tough. So let's see how Sharpness 5 goes against it. One, two, three. Now that might not seem like a big difference, but trust me, one less hit to make in a survival situation could be the difference between life and death or to put it more bluntly your equipment being lost or your equipment still being on you well the choice is down to you but i know what i'd pick now after that testing let's just run back into the overworld and we'll just have a talk about what we've gone through an unenchanted netherite axe is your strongest weapon and they're all right on their own the next option up is sharpness five which is going to give you an extra three points of attack damage coming up to smite five with certain mobs that's going to give you 20 2.5 or 27.5 lots of damage depending on whether you're doing a power attack or not and the same for bane of arthropods and it's and it's relevant mobs it's relevant five mobs that it can take care of who did that honestly honestly the maturity of some people anyway i hope that you've enjoyed watching this video i've enjoyed making it i hope that it's also shed a bit of light on this whole topic and that you now have a bit more information and can make a bit more of an informed choice about which of these enchantments that you want to use in your survival gameplay of course it's all just a bit of fun you can use whatever you like but if you use bane of arthropods all your friends are going to silently judge you but anyway thanks for watching i've had a great time making this please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this sort of content and i'll see you in the next video cheers